Welcome to Seth's Daily Podcast, Harvey's Weekly Football Report. How are you doing tonight, Harvey? I'm okay. How did we do last week? You went three and one, and I went two and two. I won the last two games on the one I lost the first two. And the one you lost, we know, hit Florida State and Georgia Tech. <laughs> which was a good ball game. I watched just about all of it, and then it came down to a Georgia Tech making the field goal and winning. Yeah, that was definitely the game of the week for sure. Three of the four games was – well, actually, all four games was good, and Hawaii pulled away there, there at the end of that game that they won. But the other three, they were down really in the last few minutes. So, they yeah. were pretty good games. Yeah. We, Georgia Tech and uh, uh, Florida State was a – was a heck of a game, man, and definitely changed the uh, changed the college football playoff already in week zero. Because I mean, I think they said something that Florida State has like a fifteen percent chance of making the college football playoff. Oh, yeah, and it ain't gonna be easy for them the rest of the way either. Uh, they got Boston College this week. Yeah, that'll be. A, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know if they can win that or not. Uh, I don't know. It was a pretty good defensive game, too. 24-21, yep. All right, Harvey, we got uh, North Carolina playing Minnesota 8 p.m. Thursday night on Fox. According to ESPN Bet, North Carolina's two-point favorites. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Minnesota. Who are you going with, Harvey? I don't think I'll pick. North Carolina. All right. We got uh, North Dakota State traveling to Colorado, 8 p.m. on ESPN Thursday night. Colorado, according to ESPN Bet, is 10-point favorites. I'm going to go with Primetime and the Colorado Buffaloes. Who are you going with, Harvey? That's who I'm going to go with, too. All right. We got Coastal Carolina traveling to Jacksonville State, 8 p.m. on the CBS Sports Network. Jacksonville State's two-and-a-half-point favorites. Uh. That's a tough game to pick, man. That yeah, it I'm, is. It's a it's up for grabs. It's a anything like that, you know. It's anybody. Yeah, I mean Jacksonville State's just two and a half point favorites. Uh, for an ESPN bet, so I'm gonna go with. Uh, that's a tough one, man. I'm gonna go with Coastal Carolina. Who are you going with, Harvey? Well, uh, I I I'm going over Jacksonville State on Canada. One of my, my buddy Cameron Jones plays. He plays for Jacksonville State. And then I think this is his last year, and he played for Jacksonville State. So I, I I'm hoping he wins. Uh, so I'll pick Jacksonville State. All right, and then Friday night at ten thirty p.m. We got TCU traveling to Stanford. Uh, according to ESPN, bet TCU is nine and a half point favorite. So I'm gonna go with TCU. Who are you going with, Art? I'm gonna go with TCU. I do think it'll be closer than that, though. Yeah, good matchup. Yep. Speaking of good matchups, man, this might be the game of the week. Number fourteen, Clemson playing number one, Georgia, twelve p.m. on ABC and ESPN Plus. According to ESPN, uh, bet Georgia's thirteen and a half point favorites. Uh, I'm going with the Georgia Bulldogs. Then. Who are you going with, Harvey? With Georgia, I think Georgia. May come come out this season mad, and that's how I think that's why I, I'm going to pick them because I still say they were still one of the best four teams last year, even though they got beat there at the championship. Florida, Georgia was still me to one of the best four teams, and that maybe why maybe why I'm glad they're going to a 12 team playoff this year because Georgia. I like Georgia, so I, I'm going to pick Georgia. I, they ain't going to be too many games that I won't pick them. <laughs> I really don't see one, honestly. Uh, we got number eight, Penn State, traveling to West Virginia, 12 p.m. on Fox. And according to ESPN, but Penn State is nine point favorites. I'm going to go with Penn State. Who are you going with, Harvey? I think I'll go with Penn State. All right. We got Virginia Tech, traveling to Vanderbilt, 12 p.m. on ESPN. According to ESPN, but, but, uh, Virginia Tech's 13-point favorites. I'm going to go with Virginia Tech easy. Who are you going with, Harvey? 
I'll think I'll go with Virginia Tech to because uh, I Vanderbilt is probably Vanderbilt may may not be picked to win many games. Yeah, I think they'll win two or three. Well, I'd like to see them win a whole bunch, but the uh, it isn't going to happen. <laughs> yeah. All right, we got number nineteen Miami. Traveling to Florida, 3.30 p.m. on ABC and ESPN Plus. Scoring the ESPN bet, Miami is three-point favorites. So that's what you call a pick em game. This could be the game of the week, too. This is a good rivalry. Uh, I'm going to go with Miami. <laughs> I'll I, I tell you what. I've this, this, I, I been shutting about this all night. I'm going to go with Florida. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go with Florida. I'm gonna go with the SEC team. All right. We got ETSU traveling to Appalachian State, three thirty PM on ESPN plus. I'm going with the Appalachian State. Who are you going with over? I'm gonna go with Appalachian State. I kinda like that team. I I I'd like I've been I've I've been liking that team ever since I, I, who's that? Michigan they beat that one year? They did. They, they beat somebody one year, and uh, I mean, I was pleased with that. So, uh, yeah, I, I kind of like one of them teams like that. So, I'm going to pick Appalachian State. All right. We got Miami of Ohio traveling to Northwestern, 3.30 p.m. on the Big Ten Network. Uh, Northwestern's two-and-a-half-point favorites. Uh, I'm going to go with North Northwestern. Barely, though. I'm going to go with Northwestern, too. But I, we're not going to be shocked if Miami, Ohio, beats them because, you know, they're – they're pretty good. They're pretty good to an America team. Uh, yeah, I love the Mac, man. Uh, yeah, I love my, I love Oxford, Ohio, too, man. Yeah, that's where my family's from. Yeah, that's where Big Ben played, man. Yeah, it's for Ben. Yeah, that's where he played college. He was good. Yep, we got Southern Miss traveling to Kentucky, seven forty-five p.m. on the SEC Network. Kentucky's twenty-eight point favorite. So I'm gonna go with the Wildcats. Who you going with, Harvard? I I think they, that, yeah I, I I don't can't see me not picking them, and I think they got a also have a pretty good quarterback starting this year for them, don't they? Yeah, he's a five star. He's a transfer from Georgia, Brock uh, Bandergriff. He can make a big difference in them winning more than what I think they'll win. They even you know I think they can win seven or eight game maybe if he's that good. If, and I'll he'll he'll be the difference in how many they win. Definitely, definitely. We got number seven, Northwestern, playing number 20, Texas A&M, 730 p.m. on ABC, ESPN Plus. Texas A&M's three-point favorites. I'm going to go. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll uh, excuse that, but it's Notre Dame. <laughs> you said I, Northwestern, but it's Notre Dame. So. I did say Notre Dame, yeah. Did you? I thought you said Northwestern. Nah, Notre Dame. Okay. Texas A&M is three-point favorite, so I'm going to go with Notre Dame. Who are you going with, Art? That's going to be a tough one, too. Uh, I, I want to go with Texas A&M, but I'll, I'll pick Notre Dame, too. Yeah. All right, we got Sunday, number 23, USC, playing number 13, LSU. 7.30 p.m. on ABC. LSU's four-and-a-half-point favorite, so I'm going to go with LSU. Who are you going with, Art? I think I'll pick LSU, too. LSU's four-and-a-half-point favorites, man. Oh. Uh, uh, that's gonna be a tough game. That might be the game of the week, actually. Big Ten and SEC team. They 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 some really good matchups starting out the season. You know that's rare to see that. It's weird saying that Big Ten. It's weird yeah. saying that USC it's, is the Big Ten team. Yeah. yeah. It's weird saying that. Anyway, anyways, we got Boston College playing for number ten Florida State, which right now they're still ranked. So. Florida State sixteen point favorites. Uh, I think it's gonna be closer than that. That's seven thirty p.m. on ESPN. By the way, uh, on Labor Day, I'm gonna go with. This is a hard one to pick, really. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Boston College. Who are you going with, Harvey? Well, I, I I think Florida State will bounce back. I'm gonna pick Florida State. That's yeah. all of them. Well, we got one more that you I put down there. Nevada, Las Vegas, and Houston. 
Oh yeah. Yeah, we we had that by Las Vegas in Houston. Oh okay. I'm trying to find it on here. I found it. 7 p.m. on FS1. You got UNLV playing Houston. Houston's one and a half point favorites. Uh, I'm going with Houston. Who are you going with? I, I think it'll be more than that. I think it'll be more than one and a half. I think Houston will be in the meeting. You think so? Yeah, I pick Houston. All right. And my NFL. About ready to come up, ain't it? Yep. Uh, the fifth, we got the uh, Baltimore Ravens, Lamar Jackson taking on Patrick Mahomes Thursday night. But, uh, we'll try to do that, you know, next week. You know, yeah. And then the sixth, that. you got the Packers and the Eagles playing in Brazil. That's some good games starting out right quick. Yeah. You got the Browns, the Cowboys, prime time on Fox. You got the Rams and Lions going to be crazy on Sunday night. Monday night, you got the Jets and the 49ers. The Rams and Lions is a wild card rematch. And then you got the AFC Championship rematch uh, Thursday. I think Dallas, uh, uh, the day's news, I think Dallas, CC uh, uh, Lamb, uh, I think they got him a. Got him on the team. He, you know, he they signed they, he signed one of the biggest contracts a wide receivers ever got. I think. Well, they needed him. Yeah. Now they got to pay Dak and got to pay Michael Parsons. They got to pay Dak, man. Yeah. Hey, looking at looking at this, it says the Browns are two and a half point favorites. Where's it played at? Dallas, Dallas, Cleveland. On oh, Cleveland. And, you know, it's hard to pick against the home team. Sometimes, you know, sometimes really the home team don't matter all that much anymore. I mean. In Cleveland it does. In Cleveland, you know, there's places it's tough. Uh, I would probably, I, I don't know. I, well, I, I'll wait, you know, till next week. And, but I can see Cleveland being the favorite, yeah. Uh, yeah. Dallas, 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 you know, they, they I hope they do good, but. If they play as a team, they can be tough. They got one of the best talented teams in the NFL. Yep. They just need to get it together. Yep. I think they should have signed uh, Gilmore back. He signed with somebody. He's their cornerback. He used to, was their yeah. cornerback last year. Yeah. They should have signed him back. He's a good veteran player. Uh, they can score, but you uh, – I don't care how good you can score. You can score a point, but you – you got to have some defense to offset that. Yeah, Jordan Love ate him up last year in the wild card round. Yeah. And it was too easy. I was shocked how easy it was. Too. The Cowboys was playing real good, too. Yeah, they was. I'm surprised how the Eagles got beat last year, too. That was a surprise to me, too. Yeah, I, I was not surprised who was in the Super Bowl, but you know, uh, I mean, they was good, both teams. Uh, it's gonna be, uh, That's it's another gonna be thing. The 49ers uh, hasn't paid Brandon Ayuk yet. Uh, He's their best wide receiver. Wow. They haven't paid him yet. He's in holdout right now. That could hurt them. They only, yeah. They only really got one star wide receiver in Debo. Debo Samuel, he's pretty good. Yeah. But they need Ayuk with them. They got Kittle to a tight end. Yeah. They still got talent, but they he's like that wide receiver that can go down there and make a big play. And maybe they need to short the defense a little bit more too, you know. They they to me, yeah, they still they 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 still ought to be kicking themselves for not winning that Super Bowl. Yeah. To me. Mahomes is yeah. that guy yeah. though. Yeah, he's he is. He's real good. Yeah, he you're right. They, 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 they're tough. That's why they're the Super Bowl champions. Yeah. Harvey, I'm ready for fantasy football, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, next week we'll start it out. You know, I was, we drafted the other night, you know. Get there, Rich, and try to get our team, you know. It, it, uh, it's exciting to me. I, I mean, I like to do that. 
this is my third year doing it. And the, I mean, it, it basically, it's, it, it's like you're an owner of a team, you know, and you got to make moves to make your team better and, and, and kind of makes you want to watch. It, it, it puts you watching the NFL more, too. Yeah. It really does. Uh, you get more interest in watching the NFL when you, because you want to watch, see how good your players you got do. Definitely. And, uh, it, it's it's it. I love it. I really do. I wish I'd been doing it more than three years. I try to get you. To. <laughs> I thought, I'm glad. Yeah, I'm glad you got me in it. It's been fun talking about it. What's up? It's been fun talking about it too. We've had good. We've had real good conversation with it. Always some trades yeah. going on. So. Yeah. Somebody always want your starters, you know. I've had so far, you know. I mean, and you know, a lot of it's about how it's how good your players do. But if you've got injuries in some of your players, you know, it you can really hurt you. And basically, that's what hurt me last year. I, I, I started out bad, then I started out good, it got good, and Got a couple of key players got hurt, and I, I didn't win another game. And but that that's the break. That's the way it goes, you know. Yeah, trades make fancy football fun, though. <clears throat> it can make a difference in winning or losing. Trades do, yeah, and yeah. also the waiver wire. Yeah, you know, free agents, all of that's fun, man. And it makes you think yeah. about that what's up that? when you're doing that. That makes you think. Uh, well, that's how they do it. In the, uh, on the real teams, I mean, not just fans. That's how they do it too. They go after somebody like that, and you know, and make or break. Them. One one player could make a difference in any of those teams. You know, you might pick up a wide receiver, you know, like that, and he may come and do good for you. That's that, that's a business. I mean, it, it's a business. And yeah. you got all that. And, and paying them the money, you know, all that, you know, I, I, that's amazing. Yeah. How they do to, to to pay those players to get them players to play, you know, and all that to keep it within the system. You know, they got a lot of people, each one of them NFL teams. I hate it's, it's not just football. It's everything. They got blue million people working in the office. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Uh, each team or I wouldn't. I couldn't name how many they probably got people behind <laughs> the scenes to doing all that. <clears throat> Jerry Jones yeah. only has himself. <laughs> oh God! <clears throat> A lot of people get paid to do that uh, to work. Yeah, Jerry Jones needs to hire a bunch of people. Oh yeah, he's good yeah. at drafting though. Yeah, I like I, I I he I know he's no he's pretty good you know there for a while a long time where he he got the player he had the players back in the nineties with uh, Smith and Troy Aikman and them and the, they were real good but he had the coaches too and I think he, he let them coach but I. I, he did. I mean, sometimes I, if he sits back and let them coach, uh, just let the coaches do their job, I mean, they might be a lot better. Yeah. It's all about chemistry, and you got to have chemistry and you got to work together. It is. I, hope, I mean, sometimes I don't know about that team. They got, the, like I said, they got the talent, but sometimes I don't know if the chemistry is there and, and all that talent. If you got the chemistry, all that talent don't mean nothing. Got to want to play together. I mean, you got a strong locker room. Kansas City, you know, they got a good locker room. They got, they got a good chemistry. They got a good everything. <laughs> that's how good. That's why Tom Brady was so good too. I mean, he, you know, they they let play with him and and they played for him. Yeah, you know, they played them for the coach and everything. I mean, that's why. That's what they want. It's all about yeah. winning the teamwork. That's why they call team sports. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to play individual, play tennis or something else or golf. But if you want to play team, you got to play team. Yeah. 
That's for anybody that's playing. There's no I team. I was taught that there ain't no I team. A good quarterback ain't uh if he's got a bad offensive line, he can't do nothing. Most quarterbacks like in, in, in most quarterbacks in the NFL are good quarterbacks, but it it, it really boils down to who's who's uh, protecting you. And who's catching? Oh yes. Yep. That Prescott needs C D Lamb. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you doing the show, Harvey. Everybody have a good night and God bless. Okay.